Good morning, Arkansas. Hi, today is Tuesday, November 7th. I'm Triana Wynn. And I'm Cabrian King. And you're watching Good Morning AHS. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and, and to, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of Now it's time for the announcements. Razorback Basketball will play a benefit game against D-Queen tonight starting at 6 p.m. Both the girls and the boys will play. This is a great chance for them to start the season with strong support. Be sure to come out and watch. Congratulations for Ryan Wardlaw on his commitment to Henderson State University to play baseball. He will sign his national letter of intent tomorrow morning. Bowling tryouts will be both today and tomorrow at 4 p.m. at Holiday Bowl. Congratulations to Razorback TV members Jules Smar and Isabella Labrada for placing first in their broadcast competition this past weekend at the ASB Forest State Competition in Springfield, Missouri. While on the topic of ASB, Isabella Summerson completed in the 76-hour broadcast package contest. As the name suggests, Bella had 76 hours to write, shoot, interview, and edit a broadcast package. Our topic was to tell the story of an athlete or coach. Check it out. Being a part of a family doesn't mean that you have to be related by blood. The bond between Arkansas High School's coach and tennis team displays their family relation. Before we start like playing, like before practices start, he'll like, we'll just have like normal conversation with him. He'll bring up stories from his childhood or like just when he was in college or whatnot and he'll like tell us like theme behind the story I guess and like how we should use that in our daily lives. Just being around him every single day, that's going to be hard to go off to college and not have our Coach McLeod wisdom for the day. Like, because we see him every single morning out here at the tennis courts and we just come and talk to him before we go into school. There's more to being a coach than just teaching students how to play a sport. Advising and communicating with them is a beneficial role. I like to know about them. I like to ask them what they like. And of course, it's not that hard, especially this group of boys. They're so vocal, but they talk about stuff. And then my, from me, my perspective is I just have to listen and just pick up on the things that they're into and, and you know, staying invested and interested in what they get into. Getting through difficult times alone is challenging and McLeod understands that. Between my sophomore and junior year I really just wanted to quit. I just was in such a low place like Coach McLeod could even tell it. I just didn't want to play tennis anymore. I wasn't happy with it. But every single day he'd just come up to me and like talk to me one-on-one -on -one and just be like it's, it's going to get better and it did end up getting better and I thank Coach McLeod for that. This year's going to hit. It's going to hit hard. This is going to hurt. This was going to be a bit of a horcrux for me. Even with graduation, everyone still plans on staying in touch and has done so before. Once they graduate, I'll still follow up with them. I mean, I was messaging a girl the other day that was on my team like five or six years ago, just, just catching up, figuring out what she was doing, and it's, that's something that I enjoy. Reporting for Razorback TV, I'm Isabella Summerson. Bella worked really hard on this assignment, and we wanted everyone to see what she put together. Don't forget that RILA applications are due by November 30th to Mrs. Gray. That's all for announcements today. For Good Morning AHS, I'm Triana Wynn. And I'm Cabrian Keene. Have a great day, Hogs.